The U.S. president has spent the week crossing the Middle East and Europe. But much has been made of a clip purportedly showing Melania swatting her husband's hand away after he went to hold hands with her while on a red carpet in Israel on Monday. She was reported to have done it again, two days later, in Italy. Washington insiders say Melania is a reticent woman who reportedly never wanted her husband to run for president and now cannot hide her unhappiness. Anti-Trumpists have launched a free Melania campaign and urged her to blink twice if you need help. But the mockery is mixed with sympathy. Who, after all, could adapt easily to having the eyes of the world on them? When it comes to Ivanka, no Trump superlative is too great for daddy's little darling. She's the apple of his eye, she can walk into the Oval Office without an appointment, and the woman whom he once queasily said he would probably be dating if she wasn't his daughter. She's got the best body, he boasted to a radio show when she was all of 21. Now she's his White House assistant, an undefined, unpaid role, and has her own office in the West Wing and a front row seat in government. So far, Ivanka has proved a political asset, turning on the charm with world leaders. Just days after Mr. Trump had an uncomfortable meeting with Chancellor Merkel, apparently failing to shake her hand, the German leader was welcoming his daughter to a conference on working women in Berlin. The president can rely on his daughter to get opponents eating out of his hand. You can't call yourself a Trump and not make money off the family name. Melania and Ivanka have both had their own commercial product ranges. Having launched a range of accessories for young urban women, Ivanka has seen retailers drop her products. Conversely, when liberals called for a boycott of her products earlier this year, analysts reported her sales shot up by 347%. As for brand Melania, pre-election, she had several stabs at monetizing her name but hardly set the retail world alight. They included Melania timepieces and jewelry and a caviar-based anti-aging cream. First Lady of Business Ivanka Just like Daddy, she likes to make a buck. In terms of style, both have long legs, long hair, big chests and a penchant for figure-hugging clothing, First Lady and First Daughter don't go far from the stereotype of the sort of woman the U.S. President appreciates. Mr. Trump is a man who has always relished the company of glamorous women and his wife and daughter certainly don't let him down. It was hard to keep up with their costume changes this week, as a stream of expensive outfits passed in a blur. Neither women misses a chance to show off their figure, but Melania's wardrobe is nowadays more flashy and figure-hugging sexy power outfits with big shoulders, big hair and waists pulled in with big belts. Her wardrobe is full of sheath dresses, belted raincoats, and pencil skirt suits. Every occasion calls for a style statement, as when the Trump ladies insisted on wearing long-sleeved black dresses and veils to meet the Pope this week. The veils were unnecessary, as Pope Francis is trying to discourage such old-fashioned dress codes. The style crown goes to Melania who this week left even the chic French First Lady Bridget Macron in the shade when the two met in Brussels. The two main women in Mr. Trump's life couldn't have less in common. Melania was born in Slovenia in what was then part of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. The daughter of a car dealer, she grew up in a flat in a modest communist-era apartment block. Her mother made patterns for a children's clothing manufacturer. Melania started modeling aged six and moved to New York at 26 to build her career. She met her future husband at a party in 1998. Ivanka grew up in billionaire affluence. She was educated at a string of private schools. She attended an exclusive business school and did some modeling before joining the family empire. First Lady of Reinvention? Melania. Her ascent to prominence has been extraordinary. For all her protestations that she wanted to just be a daughter to the president, Nobody was surprised when Ivanka took a White House post which entails being one of his chief confidants. Insiders say she has more liberal views on issues such as abortion and gay rights, and doesn't hesitate to contradict her father. Critics are not convinced, asking how can she really be the feminist progressive she claims to be when her father who boasted groping women was one of the perks of power is a misogynist dinosaur. While Ivanka was a regular stand-in for her father on the campaign trail, 
Melania was a reluctant campaigner during the election. When Melania did finally make a major speech, at the Republican National Convention, it emerged that bits of it had been cribbed from a speech by Michelle Obama. First Lady of Politics Ivanka A chip off the old block in sharing her father's drive and ambition.